So in this video, we're going to have a look at creating a new cavity wall using timber framing. So timber frame cavity wall construction. So I'm just going to open up an architectural template to start us off, get a new project going. OK, so what we want to do, first of all, is create a wall and we're going to um, take one of these walls. We'll just create a duplicate it, edit type, uh, duplicate, and I'm going to call it timber frame carrots. Oops, too many of these. Carity wall. There we go. Click OK. Let's change the construction. All right. So with this one, I'm going to add an, um, a layer by there because I want another air layer. So obviously you would just set this to whatever you fancied. I'm going to reduce this to 50. All right. And I'm going to change that from that back to another to an air layer again. OK, so that's the construction I'm going to use. So we've got some external brickwork. We've got an air layer, fiberglass. Now I've got another air layer by there, which you'll see why in a bit. And then our plaster on the inside and click OK. So click OK. So that's our timber frame cavity wall. Right now, leave that to one side for a minute. We're going to go down to our storefront curtain walls by here. We're going to edit that type and we're going to put a duplicate and this is going to be our timber frame itself. Okay. Okay. Now we'll leave some of these for a minute. We'll have to come back, um, but I'll just do our spacings. So our vertical spacings, we're going to do at um, 400 and uh, 1200 for those ones. And then we'll come back to this and adjust the rest of the settings in a minute. Now, just escape. Now, if we have a little look down into families down here, scroll carefully. Now we've got curtain panels and curtain mullions, so we need to do some work in both of these. So we're just opening this up. We can see we've got these solid panels by there. Right click, duplicate, rename. I'm going to call that one rock wall. OK, there we go. And then double click on it and it brings up your type properties. Change the offset to zero and change the thickness to 100. So that's the same thickness as I put that air gap in the wall. OK, the material. Rock wool, as you probably guessed. Now, rock wool is down there, so I just got to load that in and then I can say OK to select it. All right. So that's all right like that. Um, now, what we could do while we got the rock wool selected, if you wanted to, you could change some of these graphics rather than it just being a dull gray all the time. Um, you might want to make it more of a sort of browny color. Um, that's a bit too red, but say we'll go for that just to give it some point of difference to the other materials in the construction if you want to. And there we go. This is optional, but there we go. All right. So now I'm going to say OK on that. Next, I want to go to the mullions. So we can see these down here in our project browser. And we want the rectangular mullions. And I'm going to again click on this 50 by 150, right click, duplicate it. I'm going to resize it to a 50 by 100 and put timber by there. Enter, double click. Now I'm going to change the size of that from 150 to 100. 
these 25s are either side of its center line. So we can see by adding those together, it's 50 millimeters. The aluminum, we don't want aluminum. I'm going to go for timber and I'll just use one of those structural timber joist layers. There we go. So that's those sorted. Now we're going to go back to our wall. OK, so we've got our timber frame curtain wall. All right, let's just change the top constraint to level one, um, which is 4000, which is a bit higher than I want at the moment. So I'll just set this minus six, so it's 2.4 meters high. OK, now let's just put this on here and zoom in. So we can see we've got that. Let's open up our 3D view and you'll see it looks nothing like what we want at the moment because of course we haven't changed any of its construction. So let's just jump back in here, edit the type. Now we can actually start doing some of these. So the curtain panel, change it from none to the one we've just created. Scroll down, rock wall. There we go. Then we want our horrors, our vertical millions and all of our millions, in fact, to be our 50 by 150 timber. So just find all of those. And say OK. All right, now we've got a join condition by there, actually. So before we press OK, we could look at our join condition. Now, I want the join condition to be the border and horizontal grid connection. So I'm going to set it to that one. So it sort of gives priority to those horizontals. And click OK. Now let's have a look at it in 3D. So now we can see we have our curtain wall but instead it's timbers and rock wall. So that's great for the inner skin of our cavity. Now let's do a normal wall construction and find the one that we've created, timber frame cavity wall. Okay, so again, got the same constraints and I don't want wall center line. I want finish face interior, but I want an offset now I'm going to do the offset as minus 12.5 because that was the thickness of the plaster on the inside. Now I've got a feeling if I stuck it that way, it'll probably go the wrong way. Look, so what I'm going to do is just do it from this side. And now notice how the timber frame curtain wall exactly lines up with the airspace created in there. Now it says it overlaps, that's fine, just ignore that, we don't need to worry. Okay, so we now have our actual wall construction. So what do we do to stick doors and windows in this? Well, let's put a door in there. Okay, so any old door will do, we'll just put that one in for now. Right, so that's, there we go, we'll just put that and sort of line it up by there. And then we will find a window and we'll do a window as well. Right, so we've got a little window. God, we don't need anything too big. And we'll drop a window in there. Okay, so let's look at those in 3D. Now we can see a bit of a problem here. We can actually still see the curtain walls on the inside. So what I'm going to do here is just open up a elevation where I can see those very clearly. See, that one is probably better. And now I'm going to highlight our um, curtain wall. So that might be easier to highlight there. Jump back to that elevation. And we can either add wall openings or we could just edit profile. So um, a couple options there. I will use the profile first of all. Let's do that one. 
there we go and then I'll add another one down here now of course doing this one because they intersect over the bottom I've got to make sure I actually don't have that line going like that but have the one continuous pink line to say unjoin by there and just draw another little line in by here so that's just the one thing with the doors there if they are actually on the perimeter of the wall you do need to draw that line around but for windows or anything else you can just use the rectangles and tick now it'll give you some warnings but you don't need to worry about those that's just some of the things have been removed those millions so let's have a look at that in 3d so we now have our timber frame wall construction with the stud work okay and if we want to see our stud work we can always just click on that and we can actually see through the wall by there and see our studs as well which is also very nice and handy so there we have it a timber frame cavity wall where you can insert your doors and windows in a fairly quick and easy fashion i hope you've enjoyed this video um, if you did, please do tick the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching.